Hey, this is Professor Perez again. Today, we are going to work on translating word statements to math. And of course, we cannot have a class without our student of the semester, and that's Charlie. I believe this is his favorite subject. Hey, Charlie, what are you doing over there? Huh? Uh-huh. Got your microphone with you? Yeah. That's right. Now, what Charlie has over there is the magical mathematics microphone. Now, that microphone will translate whatever you say into English or into math. Watch. We're going to go ahead and use that today in our lecture series video, which is translating word statements to math. Okay, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. All right, here we go. Right here, translating word statements to math. Now, take out your microphone, make sure it's on, and right now, put it in English mode, okay, and go ahead and say whatever you want. My name is Charlie. That's right. Very nice there, Charlie. Shazam! Quit fooling around over there, Charlie. All right. We're not done calibrating this thing yet. Okay. So uh, go ahead and say whatever you want. I'm going to get an A in this class. What? The, the computer never what? lies, Charlie. That's right. I don't like doing these word problems. Uh-huh, there you go. There's your answer, Charlie. All right, anyway, let's get to work. We got a lot of stuff to do. Okay, Charlie, go ahead. Now, make sure you put your microphone into math mode now and go ahead and read the sentence slowly. Remember, the microphone will translate whatever you say into math. Okay, go ahead, Charlie. The sum, three and eight. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay, let's do another one. The sum of 7 and 12. Very nice there. Okay, let's do another one. This time we're going to do difference. Now remember, the word sum means addition and difference means subtraction. Okay, Charlie, here we go. Go ahead. The difference of 7 and 12. Very nice there, Charlie. All right, now. Let's do another one, Charlie. Here we go. The sum of five, very nice, and three. Now, notice here, when you translate, there's a specific order that you have to put the numbers in. When you have the sum of five and three, notice the five comes first and then the three. Okay, go ahead and read this next one, Charlie. The sum of three and five. Very nice there. Now, notice here, we have the sum of 3 and 5, and notice that the 3 is first and then the 5. But realize, Charlie, okay, we're not concerned about the answers yet. We're only concerned about translating the word statements into math. But realize, yes, 5 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 5. They both equal 8. Now, by the way, what property is that up there, Charlie? The commuted, that's the commutative property for addition that says that 5 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 5. That's true, okay? Now, remember, we're just worried about translating the word statements into math. Okay, do this one, Charlie. There's an X in there. Don't get scared. Just read, and the microphone will do its job. The sum of X and 8. Okay, very nice there, Charlie. Now, let's do some more. Okay, let's uh, simplify some of the graphics here. Let me make an adjustment here. And we're going to go into underline mode, so you'll see what I mean. Okay, Charlie, go ahead and read and translate. The difference of five and three. Very nice there, Charlie. Let's do another one. The difference of three and five. Okay. Now, realize with these two differences. Now, here, the order is very important, okay? Because the first one is the difference of five and three. Charlie, what is five subtract three? Two. That is two for the first one, right? But notice in the second one here, the difference of three and five. Okay, what is three subtract five? Negative two. That's negative two. So remember, five subtract three is two, and three subtract five is negative two, okay? These are two different answers. Doesn't work the same as when you were adding numbers. Remember, 5 plus 3 and 3 plus 5 is 8, but you cannot do this with a difference. 5 subtract 3 is 2, 3 subtract 5 is negative 2, so don't make those mistakes. Okay, Charlie, 
Let's go to this one over here, this difference of, go ahead and read and translate. The difference of n and 4. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay, now, here's our next example here. Now, in here, we're going to bring in an equal sign. And remember, the word is means equals. Watch this. Okay, Charlie, go ahead and read and let the microphone do its job. The sum of 5 and 3 is 8. Uh -huh. There you go. Right there is a sum of 5 and 3, and it's equal to 8. Very nice, Charlie. Let's do another one. The difference of 2 and 7 is negative 5. Very nice there, Charlie, yes. And the difference of 2 and 7 is negative 5. Okay. Here we go, Charlie. We've got a couple more to do. <laughs> Bring us home. Sum of 5 and 3 and 6 is 14. Uh -huh. Very nice here. Now here we have three numbers that are being summed, right? The sum of 5, 3, and 6 is 14, and that's true. Okay, Charlie, got one more to go. Here we go. The difference of 9, 3, and 4 is 2. Very nice there, Charlie. So there we go. Now that is our lecture on translating word statements into math. Our next lecture, we're going to go in reverse. We're going to be giving a math statement and we have to translate into words. Anyway, be sure you keep up with your homework and we'll see you all again soon.